Hi everyone. So today in this video, we'll see how to integrate our Postman collection in the Azure DevOps pipeline. Okay, so we all know like uh, we will create, I mean, Postman collection and we'll export and we'll run through the Newman uh, libraries, right? So the same way we can integrate those collection in Azure pipeline where you can schedule and you can run based on the requirement. Okay, so today we'll see about this one. So first thing, uh, I mean, you have to uh, keep your collection, uh, I mean, all the JSON file into the particular uh, source, right? So like a GitHub or Bitbucket or Azure, anything. So then we have to schedule. So, okay, so we'll we'll go step by step. So this is what my, my repository is. I'm using the GitHub. Okay, so this is my collection where I have one uh, collection pipeline, I mean, uh, collection JSON as well as the environment JSON. Okay, so this is a repository which I'm using for the uh, Azure uh, pipeline, okay? So here you can see I have already created. So if you're not uh, sure how to create a new pipeline, you can refer my previous video as well as I will uh, give in the comment or, or descriptions. Okay, so this is the one which I have, I mean, set up. So if I open this one, okay, I can go to the edit. Okay, so here you can see this pipeline is, I, I, I named as a REST Azure API, okay. So the source, the source, I'm getting it from my GitHub. Okay, so this is my GitHub repository. So first time it will ask for the, uh, I mean, uh, authentication validation. So once you've done, then it will be connected to your GitHub. So whatever the repositories that you have in your GitHub, it will be listed here. Okay, so the one which we are using is the, this one. Okay, so my repository is Newman. Okay, so that is what I have selected here and I have only one branch, right? So here I have only one branch, which is master. So you can integrate with any branch. So here it is a master. And you have to come to the, so this source level is done, right? So the select source is done. So you have to come to the agent, right? So the agent is, I'm running on the Windows uh, machine. So based on your need, you can run on any, anything like a Mac OS or Ubuntu or anything. Okay. So once this is done, what you have to do, you don't want to select any options here. Okay. So you can, you can go to the task level. Okay. Now you have to add the task. Right, so simply click on this uh, task add button. So here you can see this, I mean, so many tasks will be available. So for running our Newman, uh, we, we have to install the Newman libraries, right? So which is NPM module, right? So either you can use the command line also, which is fine. So by default, the Azure has NPM facility. So we can select the NPM task. Okay, so that is what I have selected here. And if you see here, so the name, you can give anything. So I have named as a NPM install, but I'm actually installing the Newman. Okay, so this is a command line argument that we have to pass, which is install Newman globally, right? So, and uh, we have some control option, which is like, you want to stop. If you face any error on this particular step, you don't want to proceed the next step. You can check on this continue on error, right? So if, it, if you select this continue on error, it means like it will go for the next step. Even this step is getting errored or if, if, if the current step is getting failed or something like that. Okay, so once this is done, so first thing we have to install the Newman. After that, uh, we can generate some HTML report, right? So for HTML extra report, I'm just installing this one, right? So we have, we have, we all know, right? We have some uh, new and HTML reporter, HTML extra reporter we have, right? So I'm generating that report as well. So I'm using this install command for again to install the HTML extra um, library. Okay, so this one also kind of uh, NPM library. So I'm just using this one. The next thing is like, so this is what, where I'm passing the command, right? So new man run, this is my collection uh, JSON and this is my environment JSON. And this command is for used for the report purpose. Okay, one, this is done. And I have to upload my HTML report to the particular file path, right? So this is a file path. Like I'm, I'm just uploading to the my system directory and this is the tab name, right? I will show you where it will come. So again, the same thing, continue on here, every, everything you can click on it. And this is kind of a J unit report, which is kind of XML format that defaults come from the Azure. So you can either use both, or if you want to use only this HTML extra report also fine. Okay, so after that, so if you want to export this, I mean, artifact, then you can uh, publish your artifacts, which we covered uh, the earlier videos, right? So these are the uh, three steps. You have to install the NPM, I mean, uh, the Newman command, and if you are using the report, you have to use this, uh, I mean, this command for installing the HTML extra library and you have to run your command. Okay, then you have to place, I mean, where you want to uh, keep this uh, report. And again, same the same this one also, publish the test results, right? So once this is done, you can execute this one. I will quickly show how it is execute. Okay, so here you can see. So uh, this is my execute, I mean, history. I will open my most recent one. Okay, so I will go to this one. So this is where the steps, right? So initialize the job 
and check out from my my uh, github repository and it is installing the npm i mean uh, new man right so here you can see the command actually okay one second yeah so here you can see install the new man right so it is installed and the new man version is this one right so before itself it, it will check the uh, npm version so by default it has npm version if not you can use a uh, one more command to install the npm okay so then again i am installing the html report okay so html report also installed so the next step would be running our collection right so this is how the command passed like a new man run collection and i mean whatever we have given in the task it will execute and it will generate the basic report like this right so and there were some failures which is i mean uh, reported here right the status code i mean i have written some test on the uh, collection level so that's why it is getting failure the next thing is it is it will upload the i mean the html extra report right so that will i mean that will uh, place to the particular folder where you have mentioned in the task and it will publish the xml report also okay once this is done and it will be checked out from the your github repository now if you go back and yeah so here you can see this is a test tab right so this is default that um, xml uh, report we have generated right so that is the one this one okay so here you can see this is a step that we have followed So now we can see this is the report XML report that we have seen here, right? So I will go back. Okay, so this is the XML report that default comes from. So here you can see, I mean, you can filter out everything, like uh, clear everything. Then you can see what are the tests, I mean, failed or passed. Okay, one second. Okay. So yeah, so here you can see, I mean, there were written uh, three test cases. So one is getting failure. So when you click on this one, so like I said in the previous video, right? So you can expand this one. So that will give you the detailed uh, report on what are the failure, error, I mean, error um, details, everything, right? So from here, you can automatically create the bugs also. Okay, so, so this will be easy option to create a bugs. So the next thing is this postman, right? So the HTML extra report, right? So this is what, I mean, like we have mentioned the steps, right? So I just named as a postman as a test, I mean, tab name. So when you expand this one, so here you can see the report. This is a HTML uh, extra report, right? So this you can see in the your pipeline itself, right? So everything will work fine. So there are one failure due to this assertion, it is getting failed, right? So this is how we have to integrate the same thing. Then you can go for a release level pipeline also. So whatever we have covered is there's a build like build pipeline, right? So build. So the next thing is release pipeline. Okay, so now we have set this one. I can execute this one, but it will take some time. So that's the reason I'm just uh, going through my existing uh, run, what I have, I mean, from the history, right? So if I go to the release pipeline, so release pipeline also, you can create the new release. Okay, so by clicking on this new release button, you can, you can, okay, you can, you can create the new release. Okay, so you here, you have to tell any, I mean, Either you can go with the artifacts, artifacts in the sense like a, so in the build pipeline, we have exported the artifacts, right? So that will be in the, under the, your, your either project level, or you can maintain some folder where you can select the artifacts. So for example, in this case, so I can select, this is my project and here I have this many uh, build pipeline. So where I can select this REST API and there will be automatically selected the, this source allies, right? So the source allies is the artifact. Okay. So if, if you don't want to use the artifact, again, if you want to take it from um, your GitHub repository, right? So you can you can select again. So instead of uh, going for the source type uh, as an artifact, you can go to the GitHub again. From GitHub, you can take actually. So so here also it will come. So whatever the repository I have, right? So that this is a new man repository, right? So this way also we can create. So once this is done, so it will be, uh, I will, I have done already, I will show you. Okay, so this is my release pipeline. So if you see this one, right, so this is a manually triggered one. Okay, so here you can see, uh, I am, I'm taking this uh, artifact from the, this one, my, my uh, source level, right? So the source level, I'm getting it from the artifact itself. Okay, so sorry, I, I'm getting it from the, my repository, GitHub repository, not from the artifact. 
Okay, so here you can see this is a repository. I mean, my repository, GitHub repository. I'm taking it here, and you can schedule like a dev, QA, everything, right? So in QA, so if you want to redeploy, you can run again everything. So if I go to the edit uh, release pipeline, right? So now you can see the clear thing. Yeah. So here also, I'm following the same steps. Okay. So I'm I'm first thing is I'm installing the new man. And I'm running the uh, new man command to, and I mean, execute the scripts. And the for last one is publishing the results. The same way you can define like, a, so it is not required all the time you want to generate the report for the, all the environment, but you can specify whatever the things that you want. Okay, so you can you can clone this task for setting up the multiple environment, right? So the multiple environment, like, so here we have done for only dev and QA, right? So similarly, you can set for the UAT also. Okay, so if you want to redeploy, just click on the redeploy. So automatically it will run. So now you can see it is in the queue. So when you click on this, and if you go to the logs, so here you can see it has started executing on the queue environment. Okay, it will take some time. I have some uh, system slowness issue, but we'll see. Yeah, so in this job, only three steps. Okay, it is getting failure. Okay, maybe my artifact is uh, it's not valid, I think. Okay. But it will definitely run. Okay, so I can maybe, yeah, maybe I can create one more new release. Let's see. I will select this Azure. Okay, so my artifact is added now. Now we can go for a staging, right? The staging, what we have done earlier is same way, right? So you have to add the agent, I mean, uh, this particular jobs, right? So what we have done here, you can open this task and you can see the logs, right? So only three steps, it will download the artifact first. Okay, so now we can, here you can see, so I have done through the artifact only. It is downloading the artifact uh, from my project, I mean, my project itself. And it is, I mean, once this is done, you can go to the next task. Next task will be installing the uh, new man. And it is running in the command line, right? So, and after this, exporting the results, publish the results. So this is how we set in the pipeline also. So I am facing some issues. It is not running. Let me try to run one more time. I mean, I think the artifact is no more. I think I have deleted the artifact, I believe. Okay, anyway, but this is how we have to set the release pipeline. Maybe I will come up with another video uh, for the... So in I, in my previous video, I have covered what is uh, CA and CD and what is build pipeline and what is release pipeline, how to create the release. Now it is started, but I think definitely it will get failed. Okay, this time it is working fine. It's downloading, okay. So this time also same issue. Cannot find the required information on the job GitHub artifact. Okay, so some issue with the artifact, maybe the path or something is incorrect. Okay, but this is how we have to, I mean, go for the release. Like, uh, so I have only one release. Okay, so that's all about this video. Uh, one is build pipeline that we have seen how to set the build pipeline and another one is release pipeline. Okay, thank you guys.